that this course will succeed. So, you know, what do I want uh, students to learn from the course that was created? Um, you know, I want you to, you know, think about a plan for success, you know? So it's, it's basically saying in that course, it's like, it's a seven part, you know, series that's talking about planting, you know, the seeds for success and planting the seeds means planning. It means having a particular mission, uh, looking to achieve that mission and working hard towards it and, That's very important, having that initial plan. And, you know, and then it starts also, secondly, I want you you guys to learn from it. It starts with a good foundation. You know, a house will collapse without a good foundation. And going over in that course, um, you know, foundational building and making sure that everything that you're doing is about, you know, building things that are, are going to last for a while that aren't just going to, you know, move along. So that's very important to build that foundation. And then third, uh, how to choose where to start. You know, there's a lot of different places where you can market your OnlyFans, a lot of different ways you can do it. I mean, there's probably hundreds or even thousands of ways that you can market and still become successful. You know, there is no one direction that leads to success, but you have to go in a direction, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm basically saying, you know, you can't go, you know, east, south, north, and west and say, okay, I'm expecting to end up somewhere. You're just going to end up running in a circle. So you have to look out and say, okay, which direction am I going? And the goal of that course is to help you choose where to start. And then fourth, you know, how to market to your strengths. You know, I definitely want people to realize that, you know, if you're, you know, going against the grain, so to speak, if you're pushing against, you know, a brick wall, you're not going to succeed. You know, if you're swimming in water, uh, you're going to do better than if you're swimming in mud or quicksand. You know, it just makes sense. So looking at the strengths that you already have, and it's great. I mean, you can spend a lot of time learning how to swim in mud and swim in quicksand. It can be done, uh, but you definitely don't want to start there. You want to start with whatever you your natural talents are, and that's going to help you start quicker. Things happen so fast on the internet now. The quicker you can get started, the faster you can get that momentum going, the better you're going to be. And then fifth, creating good ads. You know, like if without an ad, people are not going to know you exist without some sort of advertisement. That can just be a picture. That can be text with a picture. That can be a picture with a text in it. It can be a video. It can be a number of things. But you have to be out there and you have to be promoting in some way. And when you do that, when you have that opportunity to get in front of people, you want to make sure that the ad is good. You know, the better the ad is, the better the assumption of what you're selling is. So I wanted to make sure that people knew that, you know, creating good ads is very important. And then six, building a good audience. So if you have a great ad and it's going to the wrong audience, if it's not going to people who are qualified or interested in what you're trying to provide to them, it won't matter. So, you know, the audience needs to be the right demographic. It needs to be the right group with the right interests. And I definitely want people to know, you know, that you need that audience and you know through organic growth of your social channels you'll be able to build the audience that is actually interested in what you're trying to sell them and that's a key to success and then seventh organic growth takes time but it's worth it so definitely want to go over the fact that organic growth although slower you know over time you will find those people who are in, you know, in your marketing channels, in your marketing system to be more interested if you take the time to grow. So, you know, the, the fruit will taste better if you, you know, if you do the right process with growing the, the plant, you know, so it's, it's definitely about that organic growth. And I wanted that to be an important part of the lesson and the course. And then also just online marketing in 2021. You know, there's a lot of courses that were written or created, um, you know, articles, et cetera, a year ago, uh, six months ago, 
And, you know, I wanted to go ahead and create something that was relevant for 2021 that's about internet marketing right now. You know, and this particular course, I might need to update it in six months. You know, a lot of the things might be outdated. I mean, it'll happen that fast. So I wanted to create something that's right now, that's been created right now, that, you know, is relevant. And lastly, I just wanted to go over the fact that you guys have a great benefit in that most of the marketing that you will do and can do right now in 2021 for your only fans is free. Uh, when I started my first businesses in the late 90s, uh, things were not free. They were mostly cheaper. Uh, so I was able to be successful because things that now cost you know, $5 a click were a penny. And that's a benefit you know, um, to someone starting out like, wow, I can spend a penny on this. And now someone trying to start out might have to spend $5. Well, you know, you can make a lot of errors between them, between that four ninety nine. dollars you know? Um, but certainly there was never an option for free, um, unless you figured out, you know, organic search marketing. And that usually took six, eight months to get your message out. Even if you were a master of, search marketing and could get your organic going still took many, many months to even get a message out. Now you can get your message out immediately. Uh, and it's free, you know, because of a lot of the stigma for only fans, uh, you can't even advertise on Twitter. You can't even give Twitter your money. They won't take it. Um, you can't same with Instagram, same with a lot of these places. And so people have had to create networks uh, that support each other. And that's great. That means it's free. And so the only barrier you have to all this free marketing marketing is the understanding of how to market, how to use it, how to utilize the marketing to get your message out. So if, you know, something like this, a course, although I did include a cost to it, um, it will pay for itself. I know because you'll be able to learn, you know, how to utilize all that free marketing. And that's what's, that's, what's the key because, you know, time is very valuable. It absolutely is. And, you know, that's your main cost right now for marketing your only fans across all the different social channels is your time. So you want to make sure to maximize your time. And that's another thing I felt that the course was going to be able to do. Okay. And then, um, you know, lastly, I would absolutely love if you guys would, you know, try out uh, the course. Again, the site is udemy.com. Uh, it's U-D-E-M-Y dot com. And you can just go on there and search OnlyFans, as I mentioned, and you'll find the course. Um, you know, so that's pretty easy. The actual name of the course is Learn OnlyFans Marketing 101. Um, I would, you know, love for you guys to do that. As I mentioned, the standard cost of it is $11.99, but I put out on Twitter at OnlyFans Hero, you know, uh, down to $9.99. If you need that code or any kind of code, reach out to me on OnlyFans Hero and ask me for it. You know, um, the free promo, you know, right now, um, is, is on Twitter. So as well. So when you complete the course, and I felt this was something that I, would be fair, equitable, and encourage marketing education. But when you complete the course and leave a review for it, uh, I will give you a free promotion on Twitter at OnlyFans Hero and across the network. Um, it reaches over 100,000 followers uh, at this point between all the different sites that uh, that I personally run. Um, so I would love to encourage you guys to do that. And all you'd have to do is just reach out to me and, uh, let me know, send me that, Hey, I'm, I signed up that, you know, here's the review I left, uh, completed the course. I am now a marketing superstar and I know so much more than I did before. I would love if you said that to me, but, um, just, you know, send that to me along with a picture, your only fans URL, and I'll go ahead and, you know, shoot you out a promo um, on that on that site. So I was trying to figure out a good equitable way of doing promos because we have not done uh, promos. And now um, the OnlyFans promo on Twitter, our OnlyFans promo on Twitter is probably the second most popular promotion right now um, on Twitter, which is huge growth from, (laughs) 
from December, uh, when we were nowhere, nowhere near there, I'd say in December, it probably like the eighth, <laughs> uh, eighth top promo. And I, I knew that the top promo was there and they'd been working in the right direction for many months. And, and I've gone over this obviously in the podcast before about, you know, cause this is the focus. My focus was not on this. It was on something else. And in about December, I started focusing, you know, zeroing in, and that allowed uh, me to grow the OnlyFans promotion that's currently on Twitter to the point of where it's at, you know, nearly the second, I'd say it's probably the second most popular uh, right now. And, you know, you know me, I'm going to be continuing to work hard until it's number one. Um, but definitely, if you guys are able to go on Udemy, um, you know, sign up for the course, and like I said, just DM me at OnlyFans Hero and let me know. I want you guys to, you know, utilize this education and I want to be able to continue making these courses. And, you know, this has been so much fun for me. I really enjoy it. So and I really appreciate, you know, you guys listening about it. So this was OnlyFans Marketing Education on Udemy. Uh, which now exists for the first time. <laughs> um, again, my name is Richard Lewis. I am the uh, founder of OnlyFans Hero, and now I can say the uh, the founder of uh, Udemy OnlyFans Marketing Education. And um, you can find this podcast, the OnlyFans Secrets Podcast, on Instagram at uh, OnlyFans Secrets Podcast. Uh, please, you know, follow on there. Uh, you can also find us on Reddit at the subreddit of r slash OnlyFans Secrets, as well as on OnlyFans itself at OnlyFans.com slash OnlyFans Hero. Please follow and subscribe on there for free. And you can also find us on TikTok at OF Secrets Podcast. And as always, we're on Twitter. I certainly mentioned it enough this time, but um, at OnlyFans Hero, where we run hourly free promotions for OnlyFans creators. Uh, and that's usually what we do is we post, you know, drop your OF link kind of post, and then everyone drops those links. Um, what I was talking about earlier was is that you would have your own ad on there. So basically with the picture and your link and the price of your OnlyFans, that kind of thing for people to then see your OnlyFans page promotion. So it would be independent. So it wouldn't just be grouped with everyone else. Uh, but please jump on at OnlyFans Hero. Uh, we continue to grow by 500 plus followers every single day, both creators and subscribers, which I greatly appreciate. And as always, reach out to me on Twitter at OnlyFans Hero if you have any questions about this podcast, if you have any questions about OnlyFans, have any questions for our Sunday Secrets episode, love getting those. And, you know, reach out to me on OnlyFans or on Twitter about that. And, you know, as always, I really appreciate you guys listening to this podcast. If you have any opportunity to leave a review, please do. That helps so much. And again, you can find uh, the marketing education on Udemy at udemy.com. That's U-D-E-M-Y dot com. And you can actually find it if you just put slash afterwards and then put only dash fans dash. <laughs> it should be, you know, like one of those things. So it'd be like udemy.com learning dash only dash fans dash marketing dash 101 and that would get you directly there but you can also just go on only fans itself or i'm sorry you can go on udemy itself and just type in the word only fans and we will pop up and i really hope that you guys take advantage of this these this course and I'm able to do future ones. And I just, as always, just really appreciate you guys listening to this podcast, supporting this podcast so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.